I thought it's, it's even the flesh that that feels pressure to give the right gift or to give the best gift. You know, if someone gives you something, then you got to get them something. <laughs> okay, uh, and that's that's these unwritten laws or whatever. Um, or however much they spent on you, you got to equal that amount. You got you got to spend that much on them. If they got you a good gift, you got to get them something good. You know, that kind of thing. Uh, and then there's buying for everyone, or else someone will get upset or offended because they didn't get nothing. You know. Um, but then when Christmas Day finally comes, and you open up all the presents. You're going to be disappointed you didn't get what you want. You know? <laughs> I'm talking about the flesh right now. This is this is the way the flesh, you know, uh, and the world thinks of of giving and uh, getting and, and Christmas and all that. And uh, uh, and and I thought of this: how fast, you know, Christmas finally comes and you finally get the presents and maybe you did get what you want. How fast will it be before you're already tired using it? Then you want something else. See, that's that's all flesh. Now, Galatians chapter six, and look in verse eight. Verse eight says, "For he that soweth to his flesh shall of the flesh reap corruption." Okay, he that says, "I want to get what I want for me," you're going to get what you want, but you won't get what you want. You won't get what you need. You're going to get the corruption that comes with it. You're going to get the 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 consequences, the the trouble, the problems that come comes with being selfish. We should look to God for what to do. What should we do about this problem? What how how should we celebrate Christmas? How should we give? Even how should we get when we receive something? What what should be our attitude? Um, this hope he's going to be teaching on. Thankful this month. And, uh, and she's teaching how to be thankful. Well, that's one of the things we ought to, if we receive something, we ought to be thankful. We ought to be thankful for what we have. We ought to learn to say thank you. You know, and, uh, and so, uh, but we ought to look to God and, and the Word of God and, and figure this out. Uh, the second part of that verse says, verse 8 says, He that soweth to the Spirit shall of the Spirit reap life everlasting. To sow to the flesh, all you're going to get is physical or material things, and there's going to be a lot of side effects, if you will, or a lot of trouble or a lot of problems that come with it. There's a lot of selfishness, okay? There's a lot of anger and hate and greed and all of the junk that comes with it, as well as the consequences of what that thing is or what that thing costs or what it does when you get it, you know, to everyone else or, or in your life or whatever. And, uh, but he that soweth to the spirit shall of the spirit reap life everlasting. And I, I thought of that. It doesn't just say he'll reap spiritual things. He's going to reap everlasting life. That's what you're going to get. In other words, when you sow to the spirit, you're going to reap eternal things. Things that don't go away. Things that last forever. When you sow to the Spirit, you're going to reap right things, right or righteous things, good things. When you sow to the Spirit, uh, when you when you say, God, what do you want me to do? And what should my attitude be? And and what should my giving be like? You know, and when, when you do it that way, you, you go to God and you say, God, I want to do what you want, or I want I want you to do in me what you want. I want I want I want what you want. And um uh, so you're going to reap righteous things or right things. You're going to reap holy things. Holy means pure and good and all of that. Or you're going to reap eternal things. Eternal things come from doing it according to God's will and God's way. And so to, if you're going to give, how are you going to give? You're going to give God's way or your way? Think about the difference. God's way of giving is out of a pure heart. Our way of giving is like the Pharisees. Everyone watching at the red dollar in the offering plate. <laughs> you know? They have their reward. They, 
their reward is they get glorified for being such a good person. So you get everybody watching how good they are. That's all they get out of it. Okay? Uh, but to do it from the heart. Or not want to be good. Want to want to be a blessing to somebody else. Or to want to honor God. That that kind of thing. Well, you know. So think think about that. Uh, God wants us to give. He wants us to give, not letting our left hand know what our right hand's doing. You know, not telling anybody, not not making it obvious or whatever. Not even where, where we almost don't know what's going on. You know, we're we're doing it out of that pure of a heart. He wants us to give, not wanting anything in return. Don't want nothing from it. I like you guys can't ever keep y'all nothing. <laughs> and um, I'm, I'm figuring I'm getting crafty. I'm making it crafty for Christmas and figure out how to give it to you where you have to take it. But, uh, it's <laughs> <crafty>. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. That's true. <laughs> so, uh, that's very true. Isn't it? So see, I'm trying to be spiritual and I'll receive that gift. You better start being spiritual and receive gift to you. And because uh, you won't ever take them. And, uh, but the, the attitude is right. I, I don't want nothing in return. I don't need that. I ain't out to see if I can get you to give me something or get something. I want to. I want to honor God. I want to please Him. I want to give. I want to be giving. I tell you, you're the thing to God, and that's honestly how I see the closest thing to God. So you're not going to take my gift either. So you have to eat. <laughs> We're going to have to work on this thing, I think, and figure out how to be fair and give things to people. Because it really is a blessing to give, and it's more blessed to give than to receive, right? And so, um, and if, if we don't get to give, we don't get to get the blessing. And so, uh, uh, but that, the, the attitude or the, the idea is, what does God want? How does he want me to give and how does he want me to receive? And, and how can I get to that place? Because the flesh gets in the way. The flesh is there going, yeah, but I sure would like to have one of those. Or, yeah, but why do I got to do this? You know, the flesh is there. And but to get that out of the way and to say, God, you fill me and you let me, teach me, help me to be completely free, you know, where I can do it in the will of God. Truly wanting to honor God and bless others ought to be our, our spirit. God, what do you want me to do? How much do you want me to give? Who do you want me to give to? What can I do for you? If he asked me to give all of it, am I willing to do that? 